what's up guys learning with rich here in this video we are going to complete the fire protection wet system okay so last video so we create a piping system okay so we only create the piping layout in this area here okay so this time so let's complete the fire protection wet system okay so it's not difficult so what we're gonna do is we're going to add these sprinklers to the system that we have created earlier so if we go back to our piping here from the system browser so we already created this epi wet zone 2 right so if i select that one so this is the system that we have created last time so what we are going to do is we are going to add some of the sprinklers on our corridor and then we're going to generate layout for that. So how to do that? Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select one of the sprinkler here that is already part of the F, uh, FP wet zone 2. So I'm going to select this sprinkler, for example. So I click that. So as you can see, it's already part of that system. And then I will go to the piping systems tab. And then there's the system that we want. So we are going to select edit system. So just click that one and then by default add to system is already enabled. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a window selection. So I'm going to pick here and while panning. So I'm still going to pan and select up to this sprinklers. Okay, so select that and it will now be part of the system. Okay, so after that, so I'm just going to select your finish editing system. So if you want to double check, you can expand that system. And then as you can see here, so there's already some of the upright uh, sprinklers that is already part of the system, right? See, that's the one. So if I click this one, so that's the one. So basically, so we already added these sprinklers up to this point to our F wet zone 2 okay now the next thing that we are going to do is you see this elbow here because I want to generate a pipe to this direction so I'm going to upgrade this elbow so I'm gonna select that and then select that plus sign to make it T fittings right okay and then after that I'm going to select one of the sprinkler that is already part of the system and then I'm going to select here, Generate Layout. So let's click this one. And then this is not the layout that I want. So what I'm going to do is I'm still going to use the network solution. But I think I will be using here. Okay, so click this one. So I'm going to use Network 5, uh, 5 of 5. Okay. So again, that blue pipe or blue line that you are seeing that's the main uh, pipe and then the green are the are the branch pipes okay all right so I'm not gonna put a slope here so I'll just select zero and then I'll just finish and that's it there you go okay so there's now our uh, layout for the corridor sprinklers now for these three sprinklers here so I can do that here on the plan view but let me try to do it on the 3d view so I'm gonna open the 3d fire protection and let me just zoom in, zoom in. okay so let's do it here so I'm going to select this sprinkler here and then I'll use the connect into so let's click that one and then select the pipe where we want to connect that there you go. So let's click, connect into, and then click the pipe. There you go. All right, so select, connect into, click the pipe. And there you have it. Okay. So we just completed now our fire protection wet system. Okay. So on our next video, so what we are going to learn is we're going to add vertical supply piping. Okay, so that is what we're going to do on our next video. So hopefully you learned something from this video. Thank you for watching, guys. Have a nice day.